Because she's closer to me, I'll bring in Jabin first. Jabin Hall. Good to see you, Javen. Hi, great to chat with how you. are you? <laughs> it's been, we haven't had you up here. This no. is great. <laughs> no. Uh, what does senior day mean to you? What, what, you know, everything, all the emotions that go into it and ultimately coming away with a big win. What was this day like for you? It was a little nostalgic, you know, um, just being able to start from day one with um, 11 other seniors. It's just really like, wow, like it's already seniors, um, senior day, senior <laughs> season. And I think COVID kind of also rushed that process as well. And, you know, we, we lost a COVID season, but it was just full of emotions, you know, um, four years of hard work and it's just all co coming together. And our underclassmen did a great job of putting on a great show for us. And the win topped it all off. All right, take me through that big trail check. MC and I were giving you all sorts of shout outs for it. You were determined there. <laughs> I was um, just pretty much the little things coach has been telling me all season to make myself more of a presence when I'm running in off a box. And I saw her hanging her stick and I was like, OK, let me just go <laughs> for it. <laughs> yeah, that's the play that you got to make. right? Yeah. That's what yeah, it's all about. Uh, Jabin, this team uh, lost a couple games to start the season, started 0-3. You've won 10 out of your last 12 since that point. You've got a huge game coming up on Wednesday night. What has turned things around for this team, and what's it going to take – to beat a team as good as York on Wednesday? I think just from the start of the season and determining where we were, um, we did lose, like you said, we were 0-3. But from that point forward, we knew we wanted to win. We knew we were a great team. We just had to take the little steps and do what it takes to be a great team. And I think that's going to be the same for York. Um, we're going back to the drawing board. We're coming off of a big win, but we're at practice Monday just as hard. It's all, you know what? You don't rest on anything. You just keep it going. All right. Who do we need to give shout outs to? Who's somebody you need to say thank you to or <laughs> hello to? Anything like that. Okay. I'm going to do two shout outs. I'm going to shout out my entire team um, as well as the fellow yes. seniors. Um, thank you to the underclassmen for putting on a great senior day as well as my fellow seniors. It's our last senior, well, our senior day. Like, it's great. And I also want to shout out my mom. So, hey, mom. There you go. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Nailed it. And now I want you to tell me something about uh, this net, your, your teammate that we're bringing in right now tell me about something that makes her special she had a heck of a day today sophie yes sophie i mean it's sophie she always has a heck of a day um sophie comes in clutch most of the games or you know she's always our saving grace and our rock behind us um you can always she's always a presence on the field and she's just a great player on and off the field and a great teammate awesome. jabin congratulations thanks for coming up and hanging out with us thank you it's jabin hall and now indeed let's bring in stevenson goalie Sophie Shikoski, what a day she had today from start to finish, doing everything right. Sophie, I hear you don't love doing this part. I hear this isn't your favorite thing to do. No, not one bit. <laughs> okay, well, I appreciate you coming up and hanging out with us anyway. What a day this was today. Were, were you feeling something early on? Was there a special type of energy for you knowing this was senior day? Um, Honestly, coming from UMBC in a horrible, like, not a great environment and coming to Stevenson was such a welcoming supporting and encouragement like people seniors especially and just everyone like I've loved it here and they've really made um my time here and made me love lacrosse again which coming from UMBC I thought was over and impossible but they brought it back and it was really um it was much needed and all those days in which like I need pickups they're always there and I know that and it's just an amazing environment to be in that's awesome that is so cool all right Sophie the one I want to talk to you about was down here on this side of the field and I think it was number 15 and we joked she was standing in the net when you made that save right there. You made a couple in close today, but that one in particular, how were you making these plays today? It was like you knew what somebody was doing before they were doing it. Um, so we, Coach and I and Coach Taylor, have been working a lot on punching out to the ball and like being aggressive to the ball, not just being a like a defense goalie where I just kind of sit back and let it come to me, but me really coming out to be aggressive. And for me personally, I've been really thinking about watching the ball coming out of the stick on the release not just um paying attention to every single duty of everyone else but rather just my own so um just kind of have putting everything together and just seeing that ball today I just it's been working all of those um drills that we've added for me punching out to the ball so That's awesome. well, it was it was well on display today there is no doubt about it right, we've learned some things about you this season I've had a couple chats with your dad and I found out you're a big, you're an animal lover. You are, are do you still ride horses? Um, occasionally at my aunt, okay. but no, I don't show them anymore. Uh, you don't do that anymore. But you are, so like, where did, this, where did your love of animals come from? Why is it something that's so important to you? 
Um, honestly, I guess just being exposed to them my entire life, having cats, dogs, horses, um, goats, everything. I've just, animals are the purity of the earth and uh, they just make me feel something that no one else can because it's just a everlasting love and they'll like, they'll always be for, be there for you and they'll never leave you. And it's just, I'm very passionate about it to the point where like, I personally want to have my own animal sanctuary when I get older. Um, it's going to take a lot of money and some steps, <laughs> but um yeah i think people need to start having the voice for the animals who can't and i want to be one of them that's so cool sophie that's and i know you've already done a lot of work in that department that's a really cool thing all right who do we need to shout out who do you want to say hello to who do you want to say thanks to anything like that um well the first one will be a very special guy in my life he he's passed away but he was the person who got me into the goalie gear and got me into the position mike perkna I miss him dearly, but every day, every game, every practice, he's always there with me and I can yeah. feel it. Um, and other than that, just my family, they're always supporting me and um, encouraging me even on those days that I might struggle. They're like, you got it and got the next one, which really pushes me to be better. So. I saw your parents downstairs today. I know they were fired up for this one. I can only imagine what it means to them and to everybody to see how well you played today. Sophie, congratulations on a great game and an awesome senior day. We'll see you back here on Wednesday for York, all right? All right, sounds good. But one thing, yeah. I think I have one good luck charm that I've started wearing for these past couple okay. games. I don't know how to show you but my Harry Potter socks. Ah, <laughs> we got to get everybody some Harry Potter yes. socks now. Ever since we've been coming up with those big wins against the big teams, I've been wearing these Harry Potter socks. So. <laughs> Javen, we all got to get Harry Potter <laughs> socks for Wednesday, all right? MC, we're all wearing Harry Potter socks. Sophie, that's awesome. That's Thank awesome. Congra Thank you for coming up and hanging out with of us. Of course. Thank you so much. That's Sophie Shikoski. I'm Glenn Clark. This has been GoMustangSports.tv.